Connecting the SWAC, the MEAC, SIAC, and the CIAA, the HBCU experience lives here. It's the HBCU Report with Rob Calloway. This is the HBCU Report. Rob Calloway back at it again. Happy Saturday to you and yours. Oh, yeah, we are being heard live via the TuneIn Radio app, iHeartRadio, and also the Two Live Stews Radio Network. Man, don't forget, follow us on social media. We're on Twitter at HBCU Report. Also uh, on Instagram at HBCU Report. Uh, don't forget to check out our content partner, sportsnewsandbrews.com, your official source for all things sports, black news, political news, and the latest on your favorite craft beers. Check out sportsnewsandbrews.com. Uh, and remember, when we're not here, we're there. And there is sportsnewsandbrews.com. Well, folks, first of all, let me say this before we get into the whole HBCU football conversation. Um, thank you. Uh, those of you that, that tuned in last week, uh, had the opportunity uh, being in the chat room with some of you guys. And I really appreciate you all for uh, all the love that you showed me. Now, I ask you to spread the word. Did you spread the word? And if you did spread the word, shouts out to you. And hopefully this week, uh, the show won't dis- disappoint. You know, I try to make it do what it do. You know, uh, also uh, shouts out to the uh, the fellas over uh, that do this. Um, man, they got a great sports show right here in the ATL. The Crush on the Sensation Station Radio Network. Uh, big shouts out to those boys. They also uh, checked in with me. Let me know that they, uh, they were riding with the HBCU report. So, Uh, That's what it is. Um, But since we uh, last joined you, a lot of great football action went down. Big shouts out to Coach Rod Reed, Tennessee State uh, University Tigers. Put it on FAMU in the uh, Tampa Classic, 24-13. And what is one of the most bitter, heated rivalries in all of HBCU football, in my opinion. I mean, they have a a, a longstanding rivalry. Uh, rivalry and um, you know uh, I could just remember as a kid I remember Tennessee State and, and FAMU being a part of uh, the Atlanta football classic uh, that used to be sponsored by the 100 black men of Atlanta I can remember uh, them playing in that game you know numerous times and the games uh, coming down to the wire and, and you know it always been some good football when both of those teams uh, made the trek down to the ATL so uh, Shouts out again to uh, Tennessee State and FAMU as well. FAMU uh, actually on the road this weekend against uh, Savannah State. So they look to get off the snide, if you will. So all right, this is what it is. This is the HBCU Report. Rob Calloway hanging out with you Saturday morning right here on the Two Live Stews Radio Network. Also being heard live on the TuneIn Radio app and iHeartRadio. Uh, how about Thursday night football action? Oh, yeah. MEAC action. Oh, man, it was some great football being played uh, Thursday night. Hey, you got to see South Carolina State look like they were going to uh, up in uh, North Carolina Central, the reigning MEAC champions, but not so much. Uh, champions doing what champions do. And they overcame a 14 point first half deficit and uh, end up claiming the victory 33 28 on ESPNU nationally televised game. Uh, great game. Great game. Um, you know, these two teams, uh, two of the better teams in the MEAC uh, historically, and, and when you talk about North Carolina Central, oh, my goodness. North Carolina Central, they have somewhat of a of a dynasty up there. And, I mean, I don't, I mean, I guess, you know, folks that follow HBCU sports know. I mean, you always hear about North Carolina a and and I think that's because, of uh, Coach Rod Broadway and 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 the pedigree that that he brings with him, having uh, won uh, HBCU national championships at at every stop. But you can't forget about Jerry Mack. Oh yeah, the Mack man up at North Carolina Central, head football coach there. Uh, he's won four MEAC championships during his tenure there, uh, either outright or uh, in a tie. And we know the MEAC. We've seen like four-way ties in the MEAC over the last few years, you know, within the last few years, rather. But um, uh, so, again, you know, North Carolina not to be slept on, and they are the reigning MEAC champions, as I just mentioned, having lost to uh, Grambling in this in the past, uh, this year's past uh, Air Force Reserve Celebration Bowl. So, uh, you know, they are a team 
just like North Carolina A&T, that they don't really have to rebuild. They just reload. They they both have dynasties in their own right. I mean, when you look at, at Thursday night's game, uh, Central actually had a freshman quarterback under center, Chauncey Caldwell. You know, and uh, it still ended up pulling that thing out. So, again, uh, shouts out to North Carolina Central on that victory. Uh, we look forward to talking to Coach Jerry Mack in the coming weeks as well as uh, the legend, Coach Buddy Pugh up at South Carolina State. And uh, speaking of South Carolina State, coming up on today's show, we've got a great show for you and yours. Uh, we got South Carolina State University alumni, former NFL kicker Cedric Oglesby, going to join us coming up uh, later on in the show. Uh, he has the uh, Cedric Oglesby Kicking Academy, and he's doing a lot of great things with that, training up a lot of uh, young folks. Of course, if uh, your kid wants to play football, hey, being a kicker is that one CTE position, non-CTE position. You don't have to really worry about it. I'm just saying. And they make a, they make a, they make an honest living. I'm just saying. And also, uh, we will talk with uh, Rich Freeman uh, later in the show. Uh, we've got this big time uh, SIAC matchup going down between uh, the two and one Morehouse Maroon Tigers and the one and two Miles College Golden Bears. But don't don't let that one and two fool you now. Now those those losses came at the hands of. Uh, a team that competed for the Division II National Championship last year in, in, in West Georgia, and the team that has won uh, the SWAC East the last three years in a row, Alcorn State University. So don't let those losses fool you. But on the flip side, you got Morehouse. You know, their only loss on the season came at the hands of um, of Arkansas Pine Bluff in the SWAC. So again, both of these teams are going to come to play some football this afternoon when they hook up on the campus of Miles College. Please believe that. All right, don't forget, follow us on social media. We're on Instagram and Twitter at HBCU Report. Check out our content partner, sportsnewsandbrews.com, your official source for sports, black news, political news, and the latest on your favorite craft beers. I'm Rob Calloway, and coming up on the other side, we will talk with Coach Rich Freeman's counterpart, in today's Morehouse Miles College matchup, Reginald Ruffin, head football coach of the Golden Bears of Miles College, joins us next right here on the HBCU Report. The HBCU experience lives here. The HBCU Report with Rob Calloway. We'll be right back. Dave, what are you doing? Just sending a gift to Dave2037. Who? Me in the future. I save a little money from every paycheck as a gift to Dave2037. So he can spend it on things like anti-gravity boots or a hologram Doberman. Something cool like that. I think Dave 2037 deserves it. He worked hard. What are you getting Steve 2037? I guess I was thinking Steve 2037 would just fend for himself. Well, all right. But don't expect to be borrowing my anti-gravity boots. You want to have money in your future? You got to start saving now. Putting some money from every paycheck into a savings account or contributing to your 401k can make a big difference later. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free ideas and easy ways to save, go to feedthepig.org. That's feedthepig.org. Hey, let's just hope Steve2037 doesn't get his hands on a cold time machine because he is going to come back here and knock some sense into you. This message brought to you by the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants and the Ad Council. It's the HBCU Report with Bob Calloway. This is the HBCU Report being heard via Spreaker.com and also the Two Live Stews Radio Network. Rob Calloway here with you another Saturday morning. Thank you guys for tuning in to the show, however you may be listening. Uh, don't forget to check out our content partner, SportsNewsAndBrews.com, uh, for the latest in sports, political news, uh, black news. It's all there, SportsNewsAndBrews.com. Uh, and right now, we're being joined by a great friend of the show, uh, Coach Reginald Ruffin of Miles College. Miles College of the SIAC in action this weekend against the Morehouse Maroon Tigers. Uh, first of all, Coach, thank you for joining us once again on the HBC thank you, Report. Rob. Thank you, Rob, for having me, brother. Uh, it's all good, man. So, first of all, you know, b- before football, how you doing? Ah, uh, man, you know, it's been a tough year, man. Uh you know, losing a wife and turning around and losing an assistant coach. And uh, we just buried him um, earlier this week. And, uh, you know, it's been tough, but, you know, God's going to bring us through it. Uh, so uh, we just got to keep pressing forward. 
Absolutely. Now, uh, now, what happened with with uh, Coach Ogles? Because I know he he been a part of your staff the entire time you've been at Miles, right? Yeah, he was the first guy hired. Um, he was our assistant head coach, defensive line coach. Um, Clark Atlanta game last year, he suffered a seizure um, on the sideline of that game, and uh, come to find out, he had a brain tumor um, and ended up taking chemo and radiation, and then the tumor spread it. Um, early uh, July, and um, they gave him uh, less than a month to live uh, in August, and you know, and uh, went from there. Oh man, you know, terrible, terrible, terrible. But of course, uh, I know, uh, you know, I know what what type of man of integrity you are. So I know, you know, I know you're supporting the family. I know the school and President French. I know they're supporting the family as well. So. Um, you know, I know y'all have that whole family camaraderie thing going on down there at Miles. Oh yes. You know, uh, family is first, you know, um, you know, God, family and then football. So, um, um, you know, we were there, uh, support his family, still supporting his family and his wife, his kids and grandkids and mom, sisters and brothers. And, um, you know, that coach o will always be family. You know, he's looking over us now and, uh, he's in a better place. Now, usually in sports, when something like this happens, coach, you know, the team usually goes on like some kind of like crazy win streak. You know, you know what I'm talking about in sports. It's like like these type of things always motivate a team. Now here we are. Uh, you guys open up the season um, what uh, uh, with, with two losses to to West George and also uh, to uh, FCS opponent. And who y'all open the season with? Alcorn, right? Alcorn, right? Mm-hmm. And, and then uh, you know you, you pick up a victory last week. Now here you are. Uh, against uh, Morehouse College, uh, getting into uh, you know in the the uh, meat of the SIAC schedule. Uh, so, how mm, what's the word? Uh, how unbelievable or how believable would it be if this team put together one heck of a run for Coach Oglesby? Well, you know, Coach Joe uh, um, helped lay this foundation. Uh, we, we won a lot of championships here uh, with Coach O. Uh, did a great job recruiting. Uh, but this this team is, uh, you know, resilient. Uh, the biggest thing is uh, for us to to carry on uh, Coach O legacy. Coach O was one of the guys that is his favorite famous uh, quote was "Finish the drill." You know, uh, and it's all about finishing. And uh, he pushed our guys to finish strong. He pushed our guys to finish the drill. And um, so we just take it that motto. This is the year to O. You know, one team, one dream, one one heartbeat. You know, and we're gonna finish the drill. And, um, you know, we're a young football team defensively. We started eight freshmen, uh, freshmen on defense. And, you know, I think those guys are getting better and better every week. Uh, quarterback, you know, with a, with a new quarterback and, and uh, you know, a backup quarterback, you know, new to the uh, the system. So it's taking a little while for us uh, to really get it going offensively. But those guys are doing a good job. And uh, we just got to get continue to uh, press forward, continue to do things uh, that we do Miles College way. You know, we blue-collar workers, man. We work early in the morning, and uh, we grind, so we feel like our kids uh, uh, understand the importance of working hard. Absolutely. This is the HBCU Report. Rob Calloway on the line with Reginald Ruffin, head football coach of the Miles College Golden Bears. They're in action this weekend against uh, the Morehouse Maroon Tigers, a SIAC uh, showdown because uh, SIAC football coach, in, in my opinion, now I'm a swag dude, but the SIAC, you know, over these past three or four years, man, the competition, the competition has has really gotten tough. What are, what are your thoughts from a coach's perspective? Well, you know, football is football. You know, uh, you know, you, you can't worry about the size of that dog. You know, you got to worry about that heart of that dog. So uh, I think uh, SIC, you know, we, we don't fear a lot of opponents that's in the FCS, which is the SWAC or the MEAC. I think uh, you have to come ready to play and prepare your teams of, of getting ready to play, and you never underestimate your opponent. And, uh, you know, uh, leading the, the, the NCAA when it comes to attendance and, uh, you know, the SIC is, uh, has a brand. And uh, with, with a lot of the teams, like, such as Tuskegee, those teams that's been in the playoffs year in, year out, uh, representation, and especially with the NCAA when it comes to attendance, you know, uh, you know, we work hard in the SIEC. So, uh, uh, you know, it's great for us to be here in the SIEC. But, you know, uh, we fight. We, you know, we, we fight. It's, we got fight in the SIEC. Absolutely. Now, um, it's funny that you mentioned – you know, not being afraid of taking on those uh, FCS, uh, uh, yeah, FCS teams and the MEAC and the SWAC because 